Gottheit. Once in royal David city stood a lowly cattle shed, where a mother laid her baby in a manger for his bed. Mary was that mother mild. Jesus Christ, a little child. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Today this Sunday, in the octave of the Nativity of the Lord, the Church celebrates the feast day of the Holy Family of Jesus, Mary and Joseph. And also the intention of today's Mass, I offer for departed Jaime Eduardo Restrepo. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess. I have plenty of sin in my faults, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, us, blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christ eleison, Christ eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Glory to God in the highest, glory to God in the highest. Glory to God, glory to God, and on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, 
Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God, glory to God, and on earth, peace to people of good will. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest, glory to God, glory to God, and on earth peace to people of good will. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God, glory to God and on earth. Peace to people of good will. Let us pray. O God, who were pleased to give us the shining example of the Holy Family, graciously grant that we may imitate them in practice, practicing the virtues of family life and in the bonds of charity and so in the joy of your house, delight one day in eternal rewards. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the Ecclesiasticus. The Lord honor the father and his children and upholds the rights of a mother over her son. Whoever respects his father is atoning for his sins. He who honors his mother is like someone amassing a fortune. However, respect his father, will be happy with children on his own. He shall be heard on the day when he prays. Long live comes to him who honor his father. He who set his mother at ease is showing obedience to the Lord. My son, support your father in his old age. Do not grieve him during his life. Even if his mind shall fail, show him sympathy. Do not despise him on the health and strength. For kindness to a father shall not be forgotten, but will serve as reparation for your sins. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. May your happy who dwell in your house, O Lord. 
May our happy dwell in your house, O Lord. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord God of hosts. My soul is longing and yearning, is yearning for the courts of the Lord. May our happy who dwell in your house, O Lord. May our happy who dwell in your house, forever singing your praise. May our happy whose strength is in you, May walk with ever-growing strength. May your happy who dwell in your house, O Lord. O Lord, God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob. Turn your eyes, O God, our shield. Look on the face of your anointed. May your happy who dwell in your house, O Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. You are God's chosen race. He says, He loves you, and you should be clothed in sincere compassion, in kindness and humility, gentleness and patience. Bear with one another. Forgive each other as soon as a quarrel begins. The Lord has forgiven you. Now you must do the same over all these clothes to keep them together and complete them. Put on love. And may the peace of Christ reign in your hearts because it is for this that you were called together as part of one body. Always be thankful. Let the message of Christ in its all richness Find a home with you. Teach each other and advise each other in all wisdom. With gratitude in your hearts, sing psalms and hymns and inspire songs to God. And never say or do anything except in the name of the Lord Jesus. Give thanks to God the Father through him. Wives, give way to your husbands as you should in the Lord. Husbands, love your wives and treat them with gentleness. Children, be obedient to your parents always because that is what will please the Lord. Parents, Never drive your children to resentment, or you will be made them feel frustrated. The Word of the Lord. Accept the words of your Son. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Alleluia. 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Every year, the parents of Jesus used to go to Jerusalem for the feast of the Passover. When he was 12 years old, they went up for the feast as usual. When they were on their way home after the feast, the boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem without his parents knowing it. They assumed he was with the caravan, and it was only after a day's journey that they went to look for him among their relations and acquaintances. When they failed to find him, they went back to Jerusalem looking for him everywhere. Three days later, they found him in the temple, sitting among the doctors, listening to them and asking them questions. And all those who heard him were astounded at his intelligence and his replies. They were overcome when they saw him, and his mother said to him, My child, why have you done this to us? See how worried your father and I had been, looking for you. Why were you looking for me? He replied. Do you not know that I must be busy with my father's affairs? But they did not understand what he meant. He then went down with them and came to Nazareth and lived under the authority. His mother stored up all these things in her heart, and Jesus increased in wisdom, in stature, and in favor with God and men. The Gospel of the Lord. I'm going to read the pastoral letter for the solemnity of the Holy Family. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, I extend to each of you and your families and loved ones my warm good wishes as we celebrate the birth of our Savior this Christmas. I pray that in the deepened way your heart might be opened to the loving closeness of the Lord Jesus. Now and always, he is Emmanuel, God with us and God for us, near to us than our inmost thoughts and closer to us than our heart break, beat. It was because God loved the world so much, because God loved you so much, that he sent his only Son, conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. For so great a gift, we too sing in thanksgiving with the angels, glory to God in the highest. Whatever ups and downs the past year has brought, remember that you belong to Christ. In our isolation or distance, in our fear or disappointment, we have a home in Christ and in his church. He knows our name. Our baptism is part of his life's story. The Lord never will, the Lord never will never forget us or abandon us. How we need to be reminded of this, especially in difficult times. We are united to Christ and to each other in the family of the Church. Ours is not a do-it-yourself faith or go-it-alone religion. Believing and belonging, to, and belonging go together. We journey with each other as Christ's body, called to live our faith from within the Church towards to the world. 
The Feast of the Holy Family this year follows on immediately from Christmas Day. We remain focused on the newborn Christ child held in the arms of his mother, Mary, watched over by his foster father, St. Joseph. United in Christ, Christian families too are places where believing and belonging go together, giving much needed witness to the unchanging virtues of faith, love, hope, patience, Mary, mercy and kindness. What must it have been like for Joseph and his pregnant wife to have arrived in Bethlehem, exhausted by the journey from Nazareth? We know that Mary was close to her delivery date. Joseph would have slowed the pace of travel to protect his wife and her unborn child. To avoid any possible hostility in Samaria, the Holy Family also probably took the detour. It would, therefore, have taken Joseph and Mary a week to ten days, maybe even longer, to reach the destination. They then struggled to find suitable accommodation and had to bed down beside the animals in straw. Through all this, they have something to teach us. They kept faith and they trusted in God's promises. Fast forward 12 years. The Holy Family had been in Jerusalem for the Passover. As they traveled home, their beloved child, the Lord Jesus, went missing. At that time, men sometimes traveled separately from women and the children traveled with their parents. Mary thought the Lord Jesus was with Joseph, and Joseph thought he was with Mary. How panicked they must have been, fearing that he was lost, even that he had been injured or killed. Rushing back to Jerusalem, they found the Lord Jesus three days later teaching in the temple getting on with his heavenly father's business. It is significant that they found him alive after three days. The gospel points to the resurrection. Again, there is something to learn here. In all we face, how we need to keep faith and trust in God's promises. As the Christmas carol, Hark! The herald angels sing, remind us, Christ is born so we no more may die. Born to rise us from the earth, born to give us second birth. Dear friends, we each need to nurture our faith. We each need to renew our trust in God's promises. We live with hope in Christ born for us, and raise it from death on the cross for us. This is our faith. This is the faith of the Church. We are proud to profess it. Thank you to parents, grandparents, and great-grandparents for passing on the faith in your families. Thank you to catechists, teachers, clergy, and religious sisters for passing on the faith in the family of the Church. Please be encouraged to continue helping people to believe and belong in Christ, especially through the celebration of the sacrament, through cherishing prayer and the scriptures, and through loving service to those most in need. I assure you of my prayers on this beautiful feast of the Holy Family prayers for each of you, and in particular for anyone struggling with life, and especially family life or marriage, for anyone coping with illness or bereavement, and for anyone uncertain about what 2022 might hold. 
let us unite ourselves to Our Lady and to St. Joseph. We then, we keep faith and trust in God's promise. A Savior has been born for us, who is Christ the Lord. He is Emmanuel, God with us and God for us. With every blessing for this Christmas season and the new year, yours devotely in Christ, John Wilson, Metropolitan Archbishop of Sodok. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten no mate, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. As men for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, he became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again in the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven as he seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, as his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. Catholic Apostolic Church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The shepherds watch their flocks by night, all seated on the ground. The angel of the Lord came down, and glory shone around. Fear not, said he, for mighty dread, I'd seize the troubled mind. Glad tidings of great joy I bring to you and all mankind. To you in David's town this day is born of David's line, a Savior who is Christ the Lord, and this shall be the Son. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> we offer you, Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation, humbly asking that through the intercession of the Virgin Mother of God and Saint Joseph, you may establish our families firmly in your grace and your peace through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the mystery of the world may flesh, 
a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in the love of things invisible. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed called your Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and made them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of, our, of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself to bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith Save us, Savior of the world. Save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. You have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, 
And as we look forward for his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, the Order of Bishop, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who have pleasing to you the day passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world. All that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. In the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and save from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look none of our sins, but on the favor of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, 
Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, my Lord will say the word, and my soul shall be. God of Christ, 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 God of Christ. Oh, <laughs> 
Christ. What child is this who lay to rest on Mary's lap sleeping? Whom angels greet with anthem sweet, while shepherds watch or keeping? This, this is Christ the King, whom shepherds God and angels sing. Come, greet the infant Lord, the babe, the son of Mary. I see in such mean deceit, where ox and ass are feeding. Good Christians fear for sinners here, the silent wood is bleeding. Girls fear shall pierce him through, the cross be born for me, for you. Hail, hail, the word made flesh, the babe, the son of Mary. Let us pray. Bring those you refresh with this heavenly sacrament, more merciful Father, to imitate constantly the example of the Holy Family, so that after the trials of this world, we may share their company forever. Through Christ our Lord. Thank you for staying together in this Holy Mass. He exactly is the day of the family. It's very connected to the deep spirit of the Christmas. With Jesus, Joseph and Mary and also our family. Especially thank you for the people who help us to prepare this feast, the nativity of the nativity, the cleaners. But I like said this, I think yesterday, I was in another parish, but uh, thank you for helping us to prepare the cleaning, the candles, the decorations, because it's very nice, and collaboration, it's very nice to feel that we are together, we are very big, and beautiful family that God guide us for this life. Merry Christmas for everyone. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, the mass is ended. <laughs> In lonely hour and I, sweetly singing o'er the plains, and the mountains in reply, echoing their joyous strains. Oh, 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 o